good day to everyone next we shall understand some of the technical terms that are used in the postman tool first we shall see about the base url in the postman tool the base url it refers to the root url of an api base url it is a kind of a domain or a host name this base url it serves as the starting point for all the api requests and typically it includes the protocol like http or https and then the domain name it is just the url of an any website for example in www.flipkart.com this becomes the base url this base url it will always end with uh, .in or .com or .net like this next term is resource path it is additionally attached to the web server to determine the path of the resource in the postman tool the resource path refers to the specific endpoint of an application that you are accessing it is a part of the url that identifies the resource that you want to interact with the resource path it will be typically it follows the base url that is it will always be uh, next to the base url of an api and it is used in the combination with http methods to perform actions on the resource for example if you have the base url as www.flipkart.com then the resource path it will be www.flipkart.com slash users slash 123 like this here the 123 it is indicating the specific user with the id of 123 like this the resource path it will be following the base url next term is query parameters a set of parameters which are attached at the end of the url it is called as the query parameters these query parameters they are attached to the url with the help of the question mark and we can find these parameters at the end of the url and the data it will be stored in the form of key value pairs now i will show you an example for query parameter in the postman tool suppose i want to access the weather information of london that is in the uk now first i'll copy this base url i'll create a new get request here now i'm creating the new get request for getting the weather information and here i'll paste the base url then i'm clicking on send you can now see we are getting many things like current weather and we have forecast like this we have different information but i want the information of this particular location now i am copying this resource path and then i am pasting it here by putting slash then i am clicking on run or send now you can see i am getting the uh, code error of 404 that is it is showing as invalid api it is asking to check it again because it needs some more information to get the report now i'll copy this query parameter now you can see i'm copying it now i'll paste it here before pasting it what we should do we should use the symbol question mark before the query parameter you can see here we don't have any value in the key and value place but once i use this question mark symbol before this query parameter you can now see the changes that is we are getting the key and value now when i click on this send here we are getting the responses that is the weather report of london uk next is path parameters Path parameters, they are the set of parameters within the curly braces. Path parameters, they are placed within the path of the endpoint just before the query parameters. 
whenever the developers they want to do the development or test some of the particular services services running in the background for that they will be using this path parameters these path parameters they are used to identify a specific resource within the url path of a request this is how the path parameter looks like in the particular url next is payload payload it is an api module it contains the body of the api request and the api response the body of the api request it contains the data that we want to send it to the server that is when we make the api request we can send and receive the payload in a different formats like json xml html or in text or in javascript like this api request payload when you send an request to an api the payload contains the data of you want to send to the server this is usually done using the post or put request next is api response payload when you want to receive a response from an api the payload it contains the data returned for by the server now you can see here this is how the payload request and payload response looks like these are some of the important terminologies that we need to remember in the postman tool or in the api testing thank you for watching our video please do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of our updates or videos thank you